Hi and I welcome you to this lecture. In this lecture, I will speak about message brokers and its role in the messaging system. Message brokers are the one which takes care of connections between applications. Based on the requirement, a bidirectional connection will be created between each application system and message broker. And messages are transported via this connection, while message brokers act as a hub to route appropriate messages to appropriate destination. For you to have a clear understanding on message brokers, I would like to tell you about the race of bill systems. Alexander Graham Bell patterned the telephone in 1876. At the time there was a huge demand for his new invention. Initially, only telephones were sold to customers and it's up to customer to connect the telephone with wires. If a customer in house A want to speak with customer in house B, C and D, then separate wires had to be stung to house B, C and D from house A. So if a customer is going to speak with his 100 friends, then he should connect to 100 houses with separate wires. And within a year, cities were covered with thousands of wires passing over trees and houses. And it was clear that model of connecting every telephone with every other telephone will end up in a mess. This is when Bell Telephone Company opened its first switching office in 1878. Switching office had a wire connection to each house with telephone and to make a call, customer should call the switching office and the call will be connected to appropriate telephone manually. Now let's compare this with message brokers. Interface between applications without a message broker is like connecting every houses with multiple telephone connections without a switching office. Similar to switching office, message brokers are routing appropriate messages to appropriate destinations. I hope now you know what is a message broker and why it is very important in a messaging system. With this, I am concluding this lecture and thanks for listening to this video. Let's meet in my next lecture.